Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 3 in our Gamepad UMG series. In this series we've been working on creating a menu for an RPG type game using the gamepad as an input device. So far we've made it so we can open and close our menu with the start button and we can cycle between the various pages, at least in the menu, with our shoulder buttons. So what we're going to do in this episode is make it so that whichever screen we're actually on, say on the inventory for example, it will change the contents of this window to match. And likewise when I switch to quests, it will switch over to the other one. So let's have a look at how we accomplish this. So to begin, we're going to open up our player menu. So at the moment, our player menu is pretty blank. All we have in here is our page name titles. So what we're going to be doing in here is adding a widget switcher in the center of the screen. Now widget switchers you'll find in the palette over on the left hand side. So search for widget switcher. And we're going to drag this into this vertical box that the page name titles belong in. And there you see it has appeared below the text block. So now I'm going to give it some padding in the top by let's say 100. Uh, maybe a bit less than that, let's say 50. That'll do. And then the widget switcher is going to be sitting across the whole width of the screen. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to set up multiple widgets that will sit inside a widget switcher. And what a widget switcher does is that it will switch between the widgets based on this active widget index. So let's create some widgets for us to switch to. Now for starters, we're just going to do basic ones. We're going to add more details to them when we get to later episodes. So let's start by creating a new widget interface. And this one is going to be called the uh, player menu inventory underscore UI. So we will need four of these inventory widgets. Uh, well, not inventory, but we'll need four of those because we've got four options here. And the four we got are character, inventory, quests, and map. So let's make the first one and then we'll make the others after the fact. So in here, I'm going to leave it pretty much blank with the canvas panel. And I'm just going to put in a text field for now and drag that in. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text to say inventory and change the font size to be a bit bigger and we'll leave it as such okay as I said we're doing very basic ones we'll add later stuff um, more detailed stuff in later episodes click compile close that and we're going to make a few more of those so duplicate that first one and this would be the character one so player menu character score UI and just going to change the text in here to say character. Duplicate that one again. For quests. Compile and close that. And the last one. map and finally just changing the text to match so now we've got those four widgets we can go back into our player menu and we want to add those four widgets to our widget switcher over here I'm just going to rename my widget switcher over here so it's a bit something a bit more normal let's we'll call it widget switcher and probably let me right so I'm going to click on my widget switcher down here and in a palette at the top, right, top left we click on the user created and you'll see all the ones we've made. So I'm going to drag the character one in first, then the inventory, then the uh, quests and then finally the map. And these four should appear in the correct order. So character is the first one, inventory second, quest third, map last and you can see the individual ones appearing inside our widget switcher like so so now the widget switcher has got the, the contents we now need to tell it to fill the rest of the box so we go fill 
And then we're going to go into our graph. Because now we've got the widget switcher, we need to match the index of the widget switcher to the index we've got with our page. So quite simply, all we're going to do is on the construct, tell the widget switcher with a get and set index to our page index. So that gets set right at the start. And then in where we do our decrements and increments, we need to tell it to do the same thing. So we can just copy that and or increment, paste that in, like so. And in decrement, plug that in, like so. So now test out our creation. In the game, push start. And now I'm on character menu, and if I change my page, it will now change the contents of my menu. So at the moment, it works well with the controller. However, with the mouse, it does not work. That's because we haven't yet added the same code onto our buttons for our titles. So push stop and open up your page menu, player menu page title UI. And in our graph for this button, we're going to find where we do the set page index and all we're going to do is drag from the uh, player menu here and go set, uh, get widget switcher and we're going to use the same code we've done there before so set widget index and we're going to simply just plug in our page index there click compile test that out we can pause with the controller and move the controller. And with the mouse, I can click and switch the widget. No problem. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll start work on our character sheet and making it so we can control the insides of our character sheet window before we're moving on to the other ones. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where donating just one dollar, you get access to that video plus many others. Thank you so much for all my patrons for their support. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.